State District Court Judge Francis Matthew issued a ruling Tuesday that permanently prohibits Griffin from holding or seeking local or federal office. Griffin was previously convicted in federal court of a misdemeanor for entering Capitol grounds on January 6, without going inside the building. He was sentenced to 14 days and given credit for time served. The new ruling immediately removes Griffin from his position as a commissioner in Otero County in southern New Mexico. He also is barred from serving as a presidential elector. Mr. Griffin aided the insurrection even though he did not personally engage in violence, Matthew wrote. By joining the mob and trespassing on restricted capital grounds, Mr. Griffin contributed to delaying Congress's election certification proceedings. January 6. Oath Keeper's attorney arrested in Texas on charges tied to January 6 Capitol breach Brittany Martin, sentence reconsidered for pregnant black activists serving four years for protest behavior Griffin said he was notified of his removal from office by Otero County staff, who prevented him from accessing high. Griffin, who served as his own legal counsel at a two-day bench trial in August, called the ruling a total disgrace that disenfranchises his constituents in Otero County. The actions that are being taken are, I believe, perfect evidence of the tyranny that we're right now living under, Griffin. The left continues to speak about democracy being under attack, but is this democracy? Whenever you're removed from office by the civil courts by the opinion of a liberal judge, the ruling arrives amid a flurry of similar lawsuits around the country seeking to punish politicians who took part in January 6 under provisions of the 14th Amendment to the U.S. Constitution, which holds that. Ratified shortly after the Civil War, the provisions were meant in part to keep representatives who had fought for the Confederacy from returning to Congress. January 6 Arrests, Oath Keeper's attorney arrested in Texas on charges tied to January 6 Capitol breach at trial, Griffin invoked free speech guarantees in his defense and argued that removing him from office would cut against the will of the people and set a dangerous precedent. Elected in 2018, Griffin